what's up everybody i'm back with another video um i have been a little bit tired lately because a lot of stuff has been going on um but i was like something has been on my my spirit and my heart all day today like my you got to get this video out you got to get this video out so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm at one of my uh, nearby parks it's real pretty lighting it's not too cold not too hot it's quiet you guys are not gonna hear any dogs barking so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna jump into it right now okay let's get right into it so what this video is going going to be about is how to set boundaries um in a relationship so I do have my notes here. I wrote everything down and I'm just going to jump into it and we're just going to talk about it. All right. So the first one here that I have um, is when setting boundaries in a relationship is the number one thing is no means no. No means no. So um, you can't worry about like if I say no, is this person going to be mad at me or is this person not going to like me anymore or is this person going to like view me the same way? You can't worry about that. You have to have standards and you have to stick with what you believe in. Um, if the person wants you to do something that you're not comfortable with, say no. If the person is doing something that you, that you don't like, call it out. You can't worry about that other person or how, or how they're feeling. You got to stay true to who you are and you have to stand strong to your standards and your, and your morals. So you can't be af afraid of that. And I'm just going to be looking down as well. Um, and I also say that I also said that you have to, uh, stick to your standards. And if you're not comfortable with something or something is going against your morals, don't be afraid to say no. So when something is going to get your morals or w when you allow something to slide, or if you allow, if you go against something that you don't believe in or you don't don't stand for, you're honestly disrespecting yourself. So always know, always know that no means no, and no matter what somebody tells you, stick to that, stand strong. So that's the number one. Um, the number two thing is I put down here that you have to make that person step up to the plate. So if you're working and you're taking care of business, you're taking care of your kids, you're getting up at six in the morning to get dressed to go to work you're making making sure that your um your bills is paid for you're, you're you're handling your business you're stepping up to the plate whoever you're dealing with you have to make sure that they're doing the same thing they have to be they have to be on the same page as you if you're working and you're taking care of your business and all that stuff what you're gonna do you're gonna be with somebody that's that's that doesn't even work or not doing the same thing as you nah you, you can't let that slide if you're handling business then the person whoever you're dealing with you have to you have to expect the same thing from them um and then i also put here that uh a person will do whatever you allow them to do so if you allow somebody just to live off you if you allow somebody not to work if you allow somebody just to sit at the house and not do nothing if you allow somebody to do that that's exactly what they're going to do. So you can't be mad at nobody because or, or that person because you're allowing them to do it. You have to set you have to once again, the title title of this video, you got to set you got to set boundaries and you got to you got to let that person know like, "Hey, I, I this is what I require." And if you don't if you're not going to match what I bring to the table, you got to let that person go and just just and trust that God will send you somebody else for you. So that's the number 2, make sure that make sure that whoever you would make sure that they step up to the plate and whatever you bring to the table you have to make sure that that person is bringing that to the table as well um and then for number three i put here i said don't let anything slide if your person or someone you're talking to if they're doing something that you don't like or you see something you're like uh, i don't like that or they're doing something uh, i don't i don't approve of that speak up on it and and, and a lot of people may think, oh, my shell, like you're being too hard. No, don't let nothing slide. I'm telling you, don't let no, don't let nothing slide. If something, if you feel like something's disrespectful, speak up on it, you know? And I also put here, I said that, um, I said, you have to call it like you see it. And, and a lot of people think that people, a lot of people, they, people can't read minds. If you don't speak up and you don't say nothing, then how is that person going to know how you're, how you're feeling? You got to communicate. You have to not be afraid to speak up. You know what I mean? You, you, you can't be afraid to speak up. So that's the third one. Uh, don't let anything slide. And then I also put here, number four, I said, don't rush into anything. I also put quality time is the best time. Uh, you have to make sure that you're having a deep conversation with somebody. You also want to make sure that you're getting to know that person. I, I noticed in this generation, a lot of people they they rush into things like they rush into everything they 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 rush to bring somebody around their family they rush to bring somebody around their kids 
you you can't do that you like i feel like you getting to know that person and taking your time even if it takes like six months to a year i'm that type of person a lot of people may not agree i'm that person type of person i don't believe in letting someone come around your kids my bad my battery's low but i'm gonna keep going i'm that type of person i don't believe allowing somebody to come around your kids right away or allowing somebody to come around your family right away i feel like it takes time you have to really get to know that person because it, it takes a minute a, a, a lot of people they put on a front people pretend um to be something that they're not so only time will tell only time will reveal who that person really is so i feel like you can't you can't rush in anything you got to take your time to really get to know that person and i also put that on it's very important to listen. A lot of us are, a, a lot of us, and, and I, I did the same thing. We're quick to do this. We're quick to do this. We're quick to talk, 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 talk. Tell somebody everything about us. Sometimes what you gotta do, you gotta sit back, man. You gotta chill and you gotta just observe. You gotta just listen. Listen. Somebody will tell, they will tell you. Just be, be slow to talk and quick to listen. Listen and watch a person. Listen and really get to know a person. A lot of person, a lot of people. Sorry, a lot of people. They just like to jump, jump in and stuff. Like, nah. Like, why rush? Why rush? Just, just pray. Take your time and just really get to know that person, right? And and and, and once you see and know, okay, like this person is a really good fit for me. Like, I'm really, really feeling this person. And it's been like three months to, to six months. And it's just you and that person really having deep conversations and really getting to know each other. Then that's the time to bring them around, around the family, most definitely with your kids. When it comes to kids, that's real touchy. Like with my daughter, I'm really, really protected over her. Um, and I know there's a lot of parents out there that 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 feels the same way. That feels the same way that I do. You know what I mean? So just take your time. Don't rush into nothing. Don't feel like don't feel like oh I gotta I gotta hurry up and rush in with this person. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta jump, jump into everything. I gotta do everything fast. No, you gotta trust God. You gotta trust yourself. You gotta really get to know a person. And I also notice that a lot of people, um, this generation, and not just gener this generation, a lot of people think that a relationship is all, uh, th like the foundation is sex. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a the foundation is sex. And when I'm growing up, like my parents, and I wrote everything down because my mom, she watches my videos and she be like, my uh them times or or, or or them dates you said that's not accurate <laughs> so i put here that um my parents they're together and i made sure that i got with my mom because i didn't want to mess this up they were together from 1988 all the way up to 2009 um all the way up until my dad the passing of my dad so that's 21 years but they married in um in, in 1997 they were together for a long time and their relationship was based off of their foundation was based off of love. And I seen that no matter what they went through, they stuck through it. You know what I mean? So the, the relationship was not based off of intimacy or sex. It was based off of love, that friendship. That's what I grew up seeing. If it's not based off you really get to getting to know the person, it's not going to last. Like with me, for myself, for example, like I'm really big off of the mental. Like I really want to know like how you are how you feel, what are your views? You build that bond and that spending time. Like what, what my husband and I, to use us for example, um, before anything, we we were really good friends and we talked on the phone for hours, we hung out. Like he, he, was, the same, he was on the same page I was. We really wanted to get to know each other. You know what I mean? Like how I feel about it and how, how I feel about relationships, he felt the same way. So we just really talking. It's, a, it's about that quality time you guys spend together, like really getting to know each other. You know what I mean? So even not only with my parents, like with my aunts and my uncles, they've been they've been together for years, over 20 years. That's that's all I that's all I see. So it's just like really building that foundation and really getting to know each other. My bad. I, I know I, I got a little long winded on this one. But um just don't 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 rush into anything, man. Something that's worth having, it takes time, a lot of effort. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. So number eight, I put that you have to demand respect. Um you can't allow People to walk you can't allow people to walk all over you um a lot of people out there i notice and, and i'm not gonna lie because I, I i always wasn't outspoken uh when i was younger i was a little bit different but um 
my dad, he he always told me, you, you got to be a woman, man. You got to be a strong, independent woman. You got to have a voice. You got to speak how you feel. I, to my man and my woman out there, you can't allow people to walk all over you. Because if you do, that's what they're going to that's what they're gonna do. And you can't complain. If someone's doing you wrong or they're doing you or bad or they just treat you any type of way, it's because you allow it. You have to have a voice. And a lot of people, they don't like confrontation. You know what I'm saying? So they feel like, I don't want to argue. I don't like to argue. So th they don't say nothing. But you, ha you, ha you have to speak up. You have to demand respect. And I also put here, let me see, um, let me see here. Oh, and I also said that, uh, people used to, this is, this is really funny. I, this is, I thought this is really funny. Uh, people used to tell me all the time, they're like, my shadow man, your standards are way too high. No man is ever going to want to be with you because, uh, your standards are way too high and you require so much and that's too much. N nobody's, no, nobody's going to stand for that. Like you don't let anything slide. And I'm like, Hey, I told them, I said, Hey, if I don't let anything slide, then I'm cool with being single because I don't want to lower my standards or anything for, for anyone or any man. Like, and I always told them, I said, Hey, if, if a man, if he really loves me and he really likes me, then he, he will respect me and, and it'll work. If not, then it's cool. Like I don't mind being single. I was okay with being single. And then uh, my husband, he always told me too. He was like, hey, that's what I love most about you is that uh, you're very strong. You're very strong. Uh, and, I, and I love that about you. So once again, like demand respect. If someone says, oh no, like I don't want to do that. Like you tripping. No, you're not tripping. If they think you're tripping, then hey, go to the next female. Don't, 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 or go to the next man. Don't accept none of that. You have to demand respect. And you don't have to cuss somebody out to demand this respect. You can, you can, communication and and communicate in a respectful way that's what came with age with me like i used to just be like say it, say it how it is i don't care nah you can get your point across in a respectful way i wrote down like so much stuff like i'm over here number one number two number and i i skipped some so i uh, i'm just gonna not even count anymore i'm just gonna talk about the other topics that i wrote down because i'm all over the place so i wrote something down else down um, I said that you have to be nice and you have to be positive. A lot of people, when they go into like relationships or they're getting to know somebody, they automatically think the worst. Like they automatically be like, man, like, let me just keep my guards up because this person may be playing games or, you know what I'm saying? Like, or any little thing that like, if a person keeps picking up their phone or if the person doesn't respond in a, in a certain amount of time, a lot of people, and it's easy to, it, it's easy to think like this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just automatically go and just start thinking the worst, like all oh, day, like that person, that person is, is on a date or that person playing games. You can't think like that. You can't think like that. You can't think like that. And you can't have that type of attitude, right? So what you got to do, you got to think positive no matter what. Like I believe in like, you you gotta and, and and I hear a lot of people saying that you gotta believe you gotta believe and trust and just enjoy the now. You know what I'm saying? And you have to. And I also wrote down uh, what is I what else what what else did I say? I said that um you you have to think you have to think positive and you you can't automatically think that that person is. You can't automatically think that that person is up to something. Like, you have to trust the chemistry. You have to trust the vibe between you and that person. You have to trust your vibe. You have to know, like, hey, I'm lit. Like I was, I was extra cool on that on that date, or that that date was amazing. Like you have to just trust that 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 the spark between you and that person, and just pray and just give it just give it to God. Like you can't you can't worry you can't worry about it. You got to think positive. And if for some reason like like later down the line you found out that person was playing games or you found out that person wasn't who you thought they were then hey then then you you deal with it then but but going into something just feed yourself positive thoughts think, think and trust the, the, the positive energy like and a lot of people may think I, I i i'm crazy for saying this i don't believe in going through phones i believe like whatever a person is doing if they're doing something wrong that's between them and god and time 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 and when time will tell and if somebody's doing something it's going to come to the light whatever's done in the dark will come to the light so if somebody's not doing right by you you know what i'm saying it will eventually it will eventually come out but checking phones and all that stuff i i don't i don't i don't check phones my husband's phone i don't check his phone he don't check my phone i tell him i said hey bro 
I'm I'm doing good on my side. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm being good. That's a, <laughs> whatever you do. That's between you and God. So you have to distrust the process and think positive. And even when you start thinking so, something negative, or even when thoughts just just redirect it. You know what I'm saying? Or or if you feel if something's bothering you, or you feel like that person is being on their phone too much, or if you have a question, ask. Acts, but not everybody is out here playing games. There, there are good people out here. There are good men out here. There are good women. But when you go bring the the like, I'm, I'm sorry, my mind is just I'm into this. My mind is just running. When you bring things from like a previous relationship into a positive, it's gonna fail. It's, it's gonna fail. You can't think like that. You gotta think positive always. Think positive and just and just trust that everything's gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? This this trust, this trust it. If everything's great, don't be like, dang, man, everything's going too smooth or he's too nice. Nah, just live in that. Live in that and trust God and pray. Just live in that. Think positive. So that's what I put. Always, you have to be nice and you have to be positive. Man, I can't stand somebody that nags. Somebody that's nags and always like, what you doing? Who you talking to? Who texting you? Why you on your phone? What? Like, I know a, a lot of men don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, I'm like, bro, do you do you trust me or do you not trust me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ha you ha you have you have to trust me and trust that I'm doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? You you got it. You got you 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 just have to be positive and and you just got to be positive. Think positive. You know what I'm saying? And then I also put really here. Ooh, this is a really really good one. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. And you have to, um, I love dogs. Sorry, guys. And I put here that you have to, um, don't be insecure and don't show insecurities. If you, if your insecurities and everything get in the way, insecure, your insecurities can mess up something good. Your insecurities can mess up something good. So if you're trying to be insecure, if you're starting to be insecure, just, just do your best to tame it. Don't let that ruin anything. Alrighty guys, so I, you know, I always like to leave my videos with something good, good, good. Something, something, that fire, that fire, that fire, that fire, that's what I call it. So at the end of the video, I put that, I see so many people out here, okay? Men and women. When I am on social media, I don't like being on social media like that. I, I'm on social media like randomly, you know what I'm saying? Because... I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like social media like that. I go on there for the funny videos and that's it. But what I put here is that I put, I see so many men and women that always say like, I, I want, I want this in a relationship. Or I put that, they always say, I want a man that brings this to the table. Or I want a woman that brings this to the table. And when I'm sitting back, I'm like, okay, you're saying all this stuff, but, but man, I know you. And what you what you're saying that you want out of a man or out of a woman, you don't bring that to a table. Like you don't bring that to the table. Like how are you gonna sit here and say I want a person that provides, but you don't have a job? Or, or how are you gonna sit here and say what else did I write down? What, what else did I write write down? Oh, how are you gonna say that I want somebody that tell that tells the truth and that's honest, but you're the main one that playing that that's playing games. Like a lot of people out here, like that there's they're just demanding and saying what they want, but man, like. You have to self-reflect and, and, and check yourself. Like if every relationship or every time you get with somebody is turning out bad, like, man, you got to look at yourself. A lot of people out here want relationships, but they're not relationship material. A lot of men out here saying they want to be a husband, but you're not husband material. A lot of women out here saying that they want to be a wife, but you're not wife material. Like it's about all about, about how you carry yourself as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? And what you're asking, you got to make sure that you're right within. You got to make sure that you're ready for that relationship or for that person. You can't just be out here just saying you want this and that and you out here doing the most. You out here being ratchet. You out here not making wise decisions. You out here treating everybody wrong. Like, you you can't, are you out here, I, I, I want a person that does this or I want a person that does that. And, and you're a liar or you're not honest and you're not trustworthy. Or you can't do that. But you got to make sure that you're right within. You got to make sure that you're right. Because if you got a lot of flaws, when you go into, when you go into these relationships, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And a lot of people, they just like to jump into something. When they get out of a relationship, they hurry up and jump into the next one. Bruh or sis, sis. I don't even say sis, but I'll be hearing everybody else say sis. You're not even working on yourself, man. Like 
You just jumped out of this relationship and I'm pretty sure that you were the main problem in this, in this relationship. I'm pretty sure that the relationship didn't go right because you you did a lot of stuff too. Like you, you got to really self-reflect, man. You can't be out here saying this is what I want or this is what I want. You know, I want a relationship and you're not relationship material. So that's the video. You know what I'm saying? I was a little bit all over the place. I may look and see what else I wrote down because I wrote so much. So I was really... Um, I was really, really into this. But I think that's all I have for now is setting uh, boundaries in a relationship. Um, once again, once again, once again, once again, you got to pray, 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 pray. Trust God. Um, trust that you will find that man for you. Trust that you will find that woman for you. But you got to have boundaries. If you don't have boundaries, the relationship is not going to work. You have to let that person know how you want to be treated. So if you and that person, y'all come and y'all both set boundaries, the relationship is going to be successful. So, alrighty, guys, before I end this video, please subscribe. I've been getting a lot of love, a lot of people subscribing to me. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. I love hearing people's opinions. I love hearing people showing me love. And I'm going to be working on my next videos as well. I love you guys. Be safe. God bless. And I also wanted to say something else, too. Even in, in my relationship, um, it's like when you fall in love, man, you, you get a little bit blind. And you the things that you, before that you never let slide, you start to let slide. And I noticed that in my relationship. Like in my relationship, um, I fell in love and... and, and I, I let a lot of things slide, man, and I was miserable because I'm like, bro, how can you be miserable and you're you're letting you're letting that person slide? You letting you're letting that person do you any type of way. So you know what? I, I lost my voice for a little bit, but I was like, you know what? No, I love you, but I love myself more. Losing yourself in a relationship is the worst thing ever. The worst thing ever. And I told myself I won't I won't ever allow myself to do that because man, like you know me, like I'm always always i put myself first because i feel like if i'm not right then how am i going to be right for somebody else so you can't you can't lose yourself and even if you're in love for all my people that have that have been in a relationship for a long time man you may slide off but nah go back to having standards go go back to setting those boundaries me i just wanted to end this video with yes yes me i i got real vulnerable and i let a lot of things slide and I didn't pay attention to a lot of things. I ended up, I ended up, I ended up getting my heart broken. I ended up losing myself. I ended up, you know what I'm saying, allowing stuff that I wouldn't allow. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I ended up losing myself and choosing that person over my I didn't stand by my by boundaries. I, I wasn't strong because I let love overpower. Love is beautiful, but you can't let it overpower, man. You can love somebody, but set standards. You know, I love you, but I'm not going to let you do me any type of way. And just because I won't let you do me any type of way, that don't mean I have less love for you. I love my, I love you, but I love myself more. So I, I, this, I was walking to the car and something was like, nah, go back and record that. So I just wanted to let you guys know and people that have been in a relationship for a long time, we get comfortable. You know, we get comfortable. We let that person do us any type of way. Nah. It's not too late to go back and sell boundaries and, and, and restart the whole relationship. You can. You can rebuild. It's not too late to have a backbone and go back and start over. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. All right?